10. Welcome to the highly anticipated Tourism Awards, the Jimmies. Tonight, we gather in the spirit of celebration and appreciation to honor the outstanding achievements and contributions within our vibrant industry. As we commence this memorable evening, we are reminded of the immense significance of tourism in our lives and the lives of so many of our compatriots. It is through tourism that we showcase the beauty of our destination, share our rich culture, boast of our warmth and our welcoming nature, and create unforgettable experiences for visitors. Nine. The Honorable Philip G. Pierre, Prime Minister of St. Lucia, has introduced a series of friendly policies designed to foster economic growth and enhance the financial well-being of St. Lucian citizens and businesses. These policies demonstrate the government's unyielding resolve to enhance the welfare of our citizens and encourage a conducive environment for business growth and development. With these policies already in effect, St. Lucians are expected to save millions of dollars annually from tax exemptions and amnesties. 8. Students within the Castries Office region benefited from the capacity building component of the Positive Parenting Program conducted by the Community Services Unit of the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment. There are situations within our society where young men and women do not engage positively with one another. The Community Services Unit has recognized the need to intervene through this pilot capacity building program for grade 5 students. Ultimately, the program seeks to help them reap positive rewards, um, which will help them become more confident and productive citizens. Seven. Winners of the recently held Island Champs Track and Field Championships were presented with their prize monies, trophies and medals during ceremonies at the respective schools. Continue to be the epitome of success. Continue to show that the prowess you have in the academics and you will show that you are number one in both academics and sports. Six. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edwards, who was joined at the meeting held in Denry by Chief Education Officer Beverly Diodoni and the coordinator of the Student Welfare Program, Miriam Henville, called the meeting to express his appreciation for the significant contribution cooks make in the education system and to discuss the challenges cooks encountered with the program with a view to finding ideal solutions, thereby making the program better. So the little child who comes to you for a little plate of food at lunchtime and you serve that child, don't take it lightly. You are making a telling contribution to the development of your country. But you can only serve the children well if you show them love. Five. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, in collaboration with the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, have completed a single bird technology, nursery development and field production workshop. The workshop aimed to boost local production and enhance export potential by equipping participants with advanced ginger cultivation techniques like single bird technology, nursery development and efficient field practices through interactive sessions and practical demonstrations. I wish to see our production in increase in St. Lucia. I personally believe the market is there, so people don't have to go looking for the market, but we have to find ways to work together so that we can access that market and keep developing it. Four. From the government of St. Lucia's standpoint, we were happy to host you in country 
and we hope that you will come again someday soon, if not for netball, in your own personal capacities for a vacation. Congratulations again to Barbados. Congratulations to Grenada for coming second. Congratulations to Dominica for placing food. But as I indicated earlier, every girl who participated in the 2024 Jean Pierre Caribbean Netball Competition is a winner. Two. This month, we are also looking to ensure that we have a sports policy for St. Lucia. That is another very huge document that will really guide how we develop our sporting prowess over the next couple of years. One. We are all here this morning because we want to be part of that experience and to do more to protect our oceans while we ensure that our country maximizes the opportunities that exist within the blue economy space. The fisheries component under the SIP focuses on scaling up investments made under the UBEC project with, with emphasis on one, sanitary and phytosanitary interventions. Two, safety training and equipment for boat operators and crew. Training in fish aggregating devices material construction and deployment. I have no doubt that with this project touching so many sectors, its spillover effects will be widely felt by the people of St. Lucia.